we thank you for joining us for yet another week um, the day that the Lord has made for us to be happy and rejoice and be glad in it um, we, we want to say a prayer with you and for you from the book of Numbers 6 uh, 24 the Lord bless you and keep you the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. So as we sing this song, I pray that we will make this prayer together and may the Lord will bless us. Lord bless you and keep you and make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Lord, turn his face towards you and keep you peace. Lord, bless you and keep you and make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Lord, turn his face towards you and give you peace Amen 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 Before you and behind. 
thousand generation and your family and your children and their children and their children may his favor be upon you and a thousand generations and your family and your children and their children oh may his favor
watu kile wewe ni wa My name is Alma, here to bring you today's announcements. We are super excited that you've chosen to worship with us today. Just as a reminder, please stay safe by obeying the government rules, wash your hands, sanitize, wear your face mask, and social distancing. Cell meetings are continuing online. Please ensure that you stay connected. Foundation and insight classes are put on hold until further notice. Church, it is a privilege to give to the Lord today. Please do so by sending your giving to Mpesa P bill number 247-247, account number 046-026-366-9660. And please remember to send a text to the number shown on your screen with details of your Mpesa transaction code and reason for giving, tithe, offering, building, missions, and any other reasons you have. This will help our team to account for your giving. Our giving scripture comes from the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 9 verse 6 to 8. Here is my point. A stingy sower will reap a meager harvest, but the one who sows from a generous spirit will reap an abundant harvest. Let giving flow from your heart, not from a sense of religious duty. Let it spring up freely from the joy of giving, all because God loves hilarious generosity. Yes, God is more than ready to overwhelm you with every form of grace so that you will have more than enough of everything, every moment, in every way. He will make you overflow with abundance in every good thing you do. Church, it's time to give. Have a blessed week. It's time to listen to the word of God.
Welcome to Mombasa Letter of Start. My name is Alma, here to bring you today's announcements. We are super excited that you've chosen to worship with us today. Just as a reminder, please stay safe by obeying the government rules, wash your hands, sanitize, wear your face mask, and social distancing. Cell meetings are continuing online. Please ensure that you stay connected. Foundation and insight classes are put on hold until further notice. Church. It is a privilege to give to the Lord today. Please do so by sending your giving to M-Pesa P-Bill number 247-247, account number 046-026-366-9660. And please remember to send a text to the number shown on your screen with details of your M-Pesa transaction code and reason for giving, tithe, offering, building, missions and any other reasons you have. This will help our team to account for your giving. Our giving scripture comes from the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 9 verse 6 to 8. Here is my point. A stingy sower will reap a meager harvest, but the one who sows from a generous spirit will reap an abundant harvest. Let giving flow from your heart, not from a sense of religious duty. Let it spring up freely from the joy of giving. All because God loves hilarious generosity. Yes, God is more than ready to overwhelm you with every form of grace so that you will have more than enough of everything, every moment, in every way. He will make you overflow with abundance in every good thing you do. Church, it's time to give. Have a blessed week. It's time to listen to the word of God.